I want to crochet this. I want to make that. Two days ago, I went to the yarn store and I got new yarn for a project. I got this big baby. I got two of them because I was planning on making a dress. Literally moments before I started that project, I was on my phone. I just happened to come across this photo and I immediately regretted my decision for getting this. Not actually regretting it because I'm still using it. Like I'm, I'm part, part of the way done it already, but I had to go back to the yarn store to get more yarn, this yarn. And the crappy thing is that when I went to the yarn store to get this, I saw in this size of Bernat cotton in a light peach and a light purple and a cream. I went back yesterday to get those and they weren't there. They only had like multicolored skeins like this, which don't get me wrong, these are lovely but I want to make that. And multicolor yarn will not do. So I debated getting little teeny baby Bernat skeins because they had the colors that I wanted, but like, I feel like I wouldn't even be able to get through one row of this with one of those. And I should mention, I specifically wanted it cotton so that it would be like breathable because the acrylic is just way too hot for me, especially to wear in the summertime. And I wanted these big boys because you get more for your money and I'd be able to use like probably only like two of these for the peach and then probably just one for all of the other colors. So I went to Walmart because I know they have these big boys. They also did not have what I was looking for. Their selection was even worse, which I knew that going in, but I was hoping they just happened to have the colors I was looking for in these big boys. So then I went to Michael's because I knew I'd be able to get the colors I wanted, but I knew it wouldn't be in these big boys. I don't know why I just didn't order some big boys. I wouldn't have to go back and buy more which now I'm gonna have to inevitably do because I did not get enough. I know I did not get enough, but I, I, I did get the yarn that I wanted. Well, no, 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 that's not true. I got the yarn colors I wanted, most of them anyway. I got the light peach. I got the light purple, which quite honestly is not as bright as I wanted. This is definitely more like cool tone purple and I wanted a little bit of warmth in it, a little bit of brightness, but it's the closest I could get. We got a cream and we got the brown. I got two browns, two purples, two creams, and four or five and four of the peaches, which I know is not going to be enough. I've used these little skeins for other shirts that I've made and like you go through a number of them just making a shirt so I can only imagine how many I'm gonna go through. Again I don't know why I just didn't go online and order what I was looking for because I was impatient and I wanted to do it right away and I didn't want to wait. Michaels has changed everything to like loops and threads and it's kind of frustrating because I don't want to just use these teeny little skeins of loops and threads. I would really just like the big Bernat bad boys. But anyway frustrations aside we're gonna make this. We're gonna start now. I got my yarn. Definitely not enough, but it's a start. <laughs> oh, and this was like $45 worth of yarn, worth of cotton yarn. I probably would have spent about the same if I got all the Bernat big boys, but I wouldn't have to get more. I'm going to have to get more. Hopefully Michaels has more when I go back. They tend to not restock quickly, so. I feel like I should look online before I start. I'm not gonna, we're starting right now. <laughs> so first things first, we need to get a basic measurement of how long this is going to be. Hers, what did I do with my photo? Hers goes to like mid thigh, although she's quite a leggy woman, so, and I am not. So like, I want this to be a length that's wearable. I mean, it is a granny stitch, so I'm going to have to wear shorts underneath it anyway, and I pretty much wear shorts underneath any dress I wear anyway, so it's not that big a deal, but, and I think I'm gonna do mine a smidge shorter than what hers actually is. Two reasons, one, it'll use less yarn. And also, if it's a little bit shorter, I feel like it'll give that like sort of 60s vibe, which like the granny stitch kind of just gives anyway. This is hard to do because if I bend down, gets longer. So I'm measured at about 33 inches long. 
from the middle of my shoulder to where I want it to end. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I feel like it's just two pa big panels for the front and the back and then stitched together on the side, like possibly granny stitched together on the side. And then the sleeves, the same thing, they're separate. Okay, let's get started. So I have analyzed the photo a little bit further and I want mine to also have a similar, like the way the pattern falls, the purple and then the brown and beige is falling in sort of the middle of the design, like on her. And I kind of want mine to do the same. So I don't actually know how I'm going to like achieve that, but I think I'm going to start with the purple and hopefully it will get that, the purple, brown and beige in the center, kind of like how she has with it flanked with peach on either side. I just like the way that that kind of falls. See, that's gonna be tricky because I'm not sure. I wonder if I could kind of count the rows. Well, those only have, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So that would make it, I'm just gonna do it and hope for the best. I feel like that's gonna be the closest. Maybe if I start with peach. Yeah, actually I'm gonna start with peach. That's what I'm doing. If I have to take it apart, I have to take it apart. I have my chain and it measures 33 and like a smidge inches. And I just wanna make sure. Okay, yeah, cool. That's how long I think I wanted it. Oh my God, I lost my hook, okay. Okay, so chain is done. We got our length. First row, officially time to start the first row. It's editing me from the future. I'm sure if you follow crochet content, you already know the drama with this dress, slash if you follow a lot of Taylor Swift content, you've probably heard some of the tea with this dress as well. But I do think it is important to touch on the fact that this was a fast fashion design from a website, v VGR Girl, VG Girl, VR Girl, something like that. And this dress sold for $160 Canadian. The person who made that dress or those dresses, because they've been sold out since she wore it. So the people who have made those dresses are not being fairly compensated, in my opinion, allegedly. Because from what I understand, crochet cannot be recreated by a machine. A human has to crochet all the yarn together. If you break down how long it would take somebody to make it, it took me about 20 hours, a few hours every day making it. That's not a lot of money. And I'm sure that these people who are making these dresses can crochet a lot faster than me. So maybe not 20 hours for them, maybe only 10 hours for them. I saw one person online who said it only took her seven hours to make it. That person is working fast if they're getting it done in seven hours. There are a ton of videos already talking about this. So I'm not gonna go into huge detail about it. I just wanted to put it out there. It's from a fast fashion website. And that is an issue in and of itself that she is buying clothes from a fast fashion website. I do want to put out there though, she has stylists and it's possible they just collect a whole bunch of stuff, show it to her and she decides what she wants to wear. So she might not have even known that it was from a fast fashion website, but regardless, regardless. a billionaire purchasing from fast fashion websites is a questionable decision. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to defend the woman in this purchase. Also, if you shop on a fast fashion website, I'm not shaming you either. We all know, we all know that they're not good for the environment. They're not ethically making their garments. They're great for people who are on very low budgets and generally, generally plus size people can find decent, trendy clothes on fast fashion websites, except this one, this dress only went up to, I believe a size large or is a size extra large. And based on my measurements, the size, I think it was an extra large, still would have been tight on me. I will link the videos below that I've seen talking about the drama behind this dress and the ethical ethicality and how a billionaire wearing this dress is ethically questionable. I will leave it at that. Still gonna listen to her music. On with the video. Start row one, baby. I want you to know I put on the overhead light for you, the big light. 
and I hate the big light. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and crochet. Enjoy. I did not make this blanket. My grandma made this blanket, but we love a granny stitch. I'm just going to finish this row and watch some criminal minds. Okay, I have finished the first row. Yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be the perfect length. Heck yes. Um, except I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make something to eat. I also need to make something for Hoagie because it's getting close to his dinner time and he needs to be emptied. So I'm gonna do all those things and then I will come back and continue. I am finished eating and I turned off the overhead light because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I might turn it back on if I want to get a different angle or something, but for now, no overhead light. Okay, thanks. Oh, hi, baby. Hey, little boy. Yeah, snuggy boy. Oh, so snuggy. Oh, so snuggy. You're such a good boy. Give you kisses? Oh, you're such a good boy. He's so soft. He got a bath yesterday. He's extra soft. On to row two. How many rows of the peach am I doing? Four rows of the peach. This row should go way faster because I'm not going into each stitch or every third stitch. I'm just going into the into the space and it just it makes the process just faster i have officially finished the first four rows of peach and it's time to switch to purple Purple, right? To purple. Good morning. Look how much I did last night. I guess I will continue. Attach more peach, finish this row, and then onto the purple. Oh, so I made almost eight full rows out of that one skein, which is four inches. I'm gonna continue. I got done. I got a few rows done this morning. Look at that. I don't know how long this is going to take me to do, but I'm going through it pretty fast so far. I'm excited! The next day, it's late into the next day. I went to work, worked on clients, ate some dinner, and I have been crocheting. Look at that! Look how much I have done! Ah, I almost fell. It's, I'm almost done the front. Hello! Well, not the front. This is gonna be the back. I have decided that this one is the back for a number of reasons. One, it's gonna sit more like that and I want this part to be in the middle. Also, upon further investigation, the 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 front of hers comes down a little bit. And if this is going to be 
seamed together like at the top of my shoulders, then that's a little. So this is gonna be the back and it'll come like that, which like is kind of what we want. And then the front, I'm going to drop to like here. So like that-ish will be a couple stitches lower. And then I'll do a single crochet, maybe one or two rows of single crochet, which I'm gonna be doing a row of single crochet across the entire outside bits, the sleeves, the bottom, everything, just to like make it like nice and clean. And also on the picture, you can see that there's peach single crochet along the bottom. So I have gotten tons of progress done on this in the last 24 hours, essentially. Hi! Like that little baby. I am actually almost done the back panel. Did I say that already? And we are three and a half inches away from reaching that goal on that back panel. Also, a uh, yarn update. I am on the last skein of brown that I purchased. I only purchased two, which now looking at the pattern, like and how much of the, each color is used, I definitely, definitely should have automatically grabbed more brown because every time I use it, I do three rows of it. So I might have to run to Michael's tomorrow morning before work, get more brown because I'm going to my parents' house for the long weekend. And I'm bringing this with me to work on and I won't be able to work on it if I'm a color short. So I'm gonna need to get some more brown, probably some more all colors but specifically brown. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to working on this and try to get it to the measurement that I need. <laughs> Let's go get more yarn. I made a list. This is what I've used so far. Twas a success. Uh, this is not enough to finish the dress top thing, tunic but it's enough probably for me to do the second panel and then I'll need more for the sleeves. Let's go. Okay, it has been a few days since I have checked in with you. Let me show you what I'm working with. So I finished the back panel. Woo the back will sit like that. So cute. And then the sleeves will come down. Cute, right? Okay. So I started working on the front panel the morning I went to my parents and then I continued working on it while I was at my parents. The only problem is, is I didn't measure where I wanted the neckline to start. And I just sort of guessed what made sense. And I think I did 13, yeah, I did 13 rows and I was like, oh yeah, then 13 on the other side and then 26, I think in the middle. Then when I got home, from my parents' house. I measured it against the back panel and I definitely don't think I did enough. I think I need to do 15 or 16 rows in, like to that, I think is more what I'm looking for, but it'll come here. Uh, Cause this will just cause this to happen and I don't want that to happen. That will annoy the pants off of me. So I think I'm going to have to take out these three rows here do two more full rows and then drop it down for the neckline, unfortunately. I should have just counted before I left. I should have just measured before I left, but I didn't.
I have an update for you. <gasps> Check it, we have a neckline. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It did take me a couple tries. I, at first I thought this was too long, then I made a shorter one and then I measured it to the other side and it was too short. So then I had to take it out and do another one and make it longer. And it turns out the way I originally had it was good. Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. Cause, cause we've got a neckline, baby. Heck yes. Also, I made this top. It's a crop. Can you see? Yes. Cute. It's from, well, I saw it on Passionate Kelsey's channel. She made it, but the tutorial is actually from ABOC Studios. I will link both below if you're interested. Uh, Passionate Kelsey has a ton of excellent tutorials, especially like small items, like she's got like headbands and stuff. But this top, the tutorial and the written pattern, this is so fun and easy to make and it's it works up really quickly. I can, I've made two and I think I've made both in like a weekend. So cute, right? Go make one. They're so cute. I'll link, I'll link below. I'm gonna continue working on this for now. Then I got more chores to do, but first this. and back are finished. Can you see the bottom? It looks really long. It's, it, I, I was so worried it was gonna be way too long when I put it on. And then when I, once I was fiddling with it, it's not so bad. I, hello? I ended up doing a single, single crochet along the top of the shoulder area and then I just slip stitched across to join them. That's not how hers is joined. Hers, it looks like it's just like sewn together. I tried it, it did not look very clean. It did not look very nice. Uh, so I just did this and I think it looks fabulous because I'm gonna do the peach single crochet all the way around. So I think it'll look fantastic. <laughs> we gotta do the sleeves now, baby! just measured my sleeve and it is exactly the the width width yeah width that I need to go around my chubby arms I'm almost done I have one more sleeve to do and then I have to attach them and whatnot but I have this <laughs> I have this much yarn left and you notice there's a color missing so I'm gonna start the next sleeve because I think I'm starting it in peach so yeah, I can do the peach and probably finish off the purple rose with this. But I need to get a little bit more yarn. Probably one skein of each should do. Actually, I'm certain one skein of each will do it to finish the last sleeve. In the time I have been making this, so it's been two weeks since I started making this, which was like two days after, a day after that picture was posted. I have started seeing all of the other Swifties who crochet their recreations of this dress. And now I'm like, I, I wanna finish it so that I can I can be part of the trend. <laughs> Cause I'm always so late to these things. And like, this is the first time I'm even gonna be remotely on time. <laughs> so I just, I just wanna get it done. Also, 
in regards to that, I made this, like, I think I mentioned it. I'm not using a pattern or anything. I'm just winging it, just off vibes, just using a tape measure and my limited crochet knowledge. But at this point, there's going to be a number of people who have posted tutorials on how to do this. So I will look for a few and link them below for you if you want to actually follow a tutorial or like an actual written pattern because I've just been going off vibes. <laughs> and it's so far, so far it's worked out pretty decently. So I'm going to work on the final sleeve. I say that like there's more than two sleeves. I'm going to work on the second sleeve, use up the yarn I have, and uh, I guess I'll take you with me when I go get more yarn. Today's the day. I think today's gonna be the day we finish it. The dress, I mean. First sleeve. Bam, bam. And I'm over halfway done the second sleeve. Bam, bam. And then we just gotta put the baby together. Um, that's all. Remember how I just said, Today's the last day. I'm going to finish it today. That was a lie. It's been like three days. Listen, it's been too hot in here to put this on. I didn't, I didn't want this touching me. It was too warm. Let me show you what I did. So we... We knew I already attached this, that we've already discussed that, correct? I attached the sleeves and y'all, I just did a slip stitch, okay? I was gonna try and stitch it, was not looking very good. And then I was going to do like a join as you go granny stitch type thing to join them, was not looking very good. Anyway, they're attached and I think they look fucking cute. So now we just gotta join everything because the sleeves be flapping. It's like a weird poncho right now. She's together. She is one solid piece. I literally just have to do the border around the neck and the base because I've already done the sleeveies. Also, if you plan on making this, just a heads up, you got a lot of freaking ends. What I ended up actually doing on the sleeves is I just crocheted my single crochet. I just did it around all those ends. I just tucked them in and crocheted around it and then only ended up having to actually weave in the one end from the single crochet. And then on one sleeve, I had a few more that just didn't, I feel like I didn't get enough single crochets over. So I just sort of like weaved that wove put them in uh, with my little needle. So I'm hoping I can do something similar on the bottom because this is a lot of ends. They look like a jellyfish. The neckline isn't so bad. There's still a fair amount. It's not so bad, but there's a lot. Just a heads up, if you plan on doing this, there's a lot of ends. Guess what I did? It's finished. I finished the single crochet around everything. You 
look like Taylor Swift in this life. We're loving it. It's um way too long. Way too long. I didn't measure it well. It's way, way too long. Or like way longer than I wanted it to be, but it's fine. It still fits. It's fine. It is also a smidge big. I could have made it a smidge smaller. And I'm not gonna lie, it hangs a little weird, but I think it's because it's too long. So it like kind of bells out a little bit, but I'm not mad. I think it turned out fabulous. It's wearable and it was not fast fashion. It cost me less to make this than if I bought it from the website, which, and I made it myself. And it's not made out of acrylic, it's made out of cotton, which the one that she's wearing is made out of acrylic. Girl, what are you doing? How are you not dying in that? Anyway, I'm pleased. Other than it being too long, which like, I can deal with that. I can manage. I'm pleased. Okay, that's, that's, that's the video, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's sort of new for my channel, but if you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed something about it. So thank you. So I've decided that I'm going to wear this to the Eras Tour concert. I don't have tickets for the Toronto or even the Vancouver shows. I, I don't have tickets. I'm just hoping and hoping, but I have decided I'm probably gonna wear this because I spent like two weeks making it and like $75 worth of yarn making it. So I might as well wear it. If this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, this is not my usual content. Although I'm switching things up and trying new things and playing around and basically just doing what I want to do now. Uh, so there might be more crochet content if you like this kind of video. If you like these kinds of videos, uh, let me know in the comments below so that I can get your feedback and make more if a lot of people like it. Let me know. Comments help the engagement, which helps the algorithm. And also I'm interested, so. And also like, thank you <laughs> for clicking on this video. It, I appreciate it. it. It actually does mean a lot to me. And if you are a, a returning viewer to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on a video that wasn't nails. I really appreciate that. That's very cool of you. I mean, it is, but that was a weird thing to say. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Oh, and also like if you are new, you can subscribe. I'm not entirely sure what kind of content is going to be next, but you can come along the journey with me if you're interested. Okay, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.